Hello, I'm Sri from CBTU. Welcome to the Ethical Hacker Training Course based on CEH Certification Program by EC Council. Module 3 Network Scanning Section Ping and Ping Sweep. Ping is a command line utility used to test the reachability of a host on an IP network. Ping is an acronym for Packet Internet Grouper. Ping is available on Linux flavors and Windows as well. It measures the round trip time RTT for the messages sent from the originating host to a destination system that are echoed back to the source. Ping operates by sending ICMP echo request packets to the target and wait for the ICMP echo reply. ICMP is Internet Control Message Protocol. This program reports errors, packet loss and statistical summary of the results, including the minimum, maximum and uh, the mean round trip times. Network scanning tools work by utilizing the echo packets, resulting in host discovery, scanning and ping sweep. Ping is powerful troubleshooting utility, but it's misused by flooding in DOS attacks. The classic tool used for the ping sweeps is fping. Ping sweep. Ping sweep is a method that can establish a range of IP addresses which map to live hosts. Some of the tools are fping, hping, and nmap. Let us know a bit about the origin of the ping. In 1983, the ping utility was written by Mike Moose as a tool to troubleshoot problems in an IP network. RFC 1122 prescribes that any host must process ICMP echo request and issue echo reply in return. Ping options may include the size of the payload, count of the tests, limit for the number of hops, that is TTL time to live, that probes traverse, and the interval between the requests. Ping 6 is used for testing IPv6 networks. Hackers misuse ping in conducting DOS attacks by ping floods in which attacker attempts to overwhelm the victim with numerous ICMP echo requests. Ping has been considered a security risk because merely acknowledging a host presence turns it into a potential target. For these reasons, many systems and corporate networks make a policy to disable the reply. Despite the fact that RFC 1122 mandates hosts always to send a reply. When you open a command prompt and type ping, you will see the options. Just type ping space and the host and enter. The host will be resolved to an IP address and it will send the standard packet size of 32 bytes and this CTL is based on the remote server. This time is RTT, round trip time, from the source to destination and destination to back, the total travel time. And these are the statistics. If any packets are lost, we call it as request timeout RTO. Instead of reply, you will see the RTOs. And out of these pings, it calculated the statistics minimum, maximum, and the average. This latency or the round trip time is a measure of performance. If this is not even, uneven, or it's a more in value, then there is some network issue. Network can be troubleshooted by watching this RTT round trip time. If it's taking unusually longer latencies, then there must be some problem and the troubleshooting must be carried out. With the various options like minus T, you can run the ping continuously until it is stopped with Ctrl C or Ctrl Z. This is some sample by Sharp Capture. This is echo request and this is echo reply. This host is local host is 2 to 6 and the destination is uh, 888 and request is sent and 8888 responded back echo reply. This is Wireshark capture for the ping ICMP packets. Uh, this is source local host and the destination is 8888 and the protocol is ICMP and echo request is being sent. And the destination 8888 responded back, echo reply. You can analyze the traffic if you're interested. In case of no response from the target host, most implementations of the ping display nothing. Or periodically print notifications about timing out 
that is request timeout RTO. In case of error, the target host or an intermediate router sends back an ICMP error message, for example, host unreachable or TTL exited in transit. There are some utilities which use ping in the background. Trace route or trace RT is used to trace the path between a user and the target system on the networks. Trace route is a network diagnostic tool for displaying the route and measuring the transit delays in the packets across hops in network. A comparison to the ping being ping only computes the final round trip times from the destination point. In Unix, Linux, Apple Mac OS, the command is trace route. In Microsoft Windows, the command is TraceRT. TraceRT sends ICMP echo requests instead of UDP packets. This is a TraceRT example in Windows platform. TraceRoute on Linux. Firewalls may permit ICMP packets but not permit packets of other protocols. TraceRoute is also used by penetration testers to gather information about the network infrastructure and IP ranges around a given host. Thanks for watching.